Hello, Karen Wolf in the art studio today. How is everyone? Hope you guys are doing really good. Uh, I am um, a painter and I teach adults and children uh, how to paint and become better painters. So if you're interested in um, painting or learning to paint in acrylic, I'm your girl. <laughs> I'm trying to get this painting over here so you guys can see it. Um, I'm still not sure about it yet, but um, I had painted this the other day on the video and uh, I put out a, a message after I was finished with it. I felt like there was a balloon missing. So I added the green balloon. And I, I, I like that. Uh, I think that that definitely helped. I think it balanced the painting. Uh, I think if I would have added a, uh, a white balloon or a different color balloon, I just, I just don't think, uh, or pink would have been out, you know, out of the primary colors. So uh, I just balanced it, I think, with the green one. So you all let me know what you think about that. So um, anyhow, hello everyone. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Um, that was that. Was that. So there's the green balloon that I added. And uh, actually, a friend of mine suggested um, to have like, uh, she said a penguin holding a, holding a bunch of balloons. Uh, anything really, I think, like an elephant or a penguin or something. I just, when, as soon as she said that, I just visualized a whole bunch of things like holding the bunch of balloons and it pulling them up and almost like a tiptoe down, something like that. So make a really cute painting, I think, for some kids or something like that, or clown or kids, you know, animals, whatever. So anyways, there's that. So um, always ideas and stuff going through my head. So um, just wanted to go through just a couple things that I uh, had on my mind, um, just a couple of helpful hints maybe for you guys. So you all let me know if this is helpful, and if not, uh, <laughs> I'll come up with something else. Um, but I wanted to um, go over the one thing I have here. Uh, I brought this Felsnaphtha um, soap over here to clean brushes. And I don't know if I'm, I may be backwards uh, from you all. Let's see. Let me get back. Flip flop it. There we go. Uh, the Felsnaphtha uh, soap, a lot of people use this for um, cleaning. And, uh, I think even, uh, I can't remember. seems like somebody was saying they use it like laundry and stuff like that. It actually does say it's a laundry bra, laundry bar and stain remover. I use this to clean my brushes. I have used other brush soaps and this is, this is what I've been using for gosh, years now. I've used that, um, it's, I don't know, I can't remember the name of it. It's a brush soap that you use, and it's like, I don't know, $7 or something. But you can get this, like, at Walmart or Kroger's, and um, it's like 4 bucks or something like that. And it lasts for a very long time. So this is what I use to clean my brushes, and I love it. It like, makes them soft. It gets all the paint out. And whenever you're done with your brushes, do clean them good. Clean them really good. Baby formula. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, but you, once you're, you're done with your uh, brushes and you, you know, you're done for the day and you're ready to you know, quit painting, and don't leave them there with paint in them. And even if you've w rinsed them out, if the water is really dirty and has a lot of paint in it, you really don't get the paint out of your brush by rinsing them like that. Gets the stain, oh, it gets the stain out for formula. Um, but you take your, your paint or your paintbrush, get it in the water, and then you go back and forth on the bar of soap. Of course, this one's not open, but you go back and forth on the bar of soap and you get it really soapy. And then mix it in your, the palm of your hand and just really get that soapy and just really you know work that down into the ferrule and then rinse it. And do that until you can't see color anymore, until you can't see any more uh, color and rinse it really good and then uh, form your br bristles back out smooth them back out to where they don't have any little frizzle frazzles on them and then uh, lay it flat to dry and then whenever it's dry then you're good so that's the brush cleaning thing and I've also I have a video on 
uh, here, and it's on my YouTube page. My, I have YouTube now, or by Karen Wolf on YouTube. Um, that bristle magic, if you have a brush that gets dried rock hard acrylic paint in it, you lay it down and it's like even one of your favorite brushes, oh shoot, you come back and it's like, oh, I've got, I've got paint in there and I'll never get that out. Um, put it down in that bristle ma magic. It, it may take a couple of days. I've had them in there for weeks and it will take every bit of that paint out of there. And I have a demonstration on that video and you just wash it same as you, you get it out. You wash it in the Felsnapta soap and it takes it out. It just gets it out and it's like a miracle. And you, I, I, it's live on my, or it's not live anymore, but I did a live on it, so it's on there. So there, then I have JH Best Crafts. It's the best graphite paper on the planet. And I tell people this all the time and, and nobody believes me. If you use carbon paper, a lot of people have asked me about using carbon paper. That's a more permanent, it's meant to be permanent and it has waxes and stuff in it. So sometimes your paint might not uh, go over that as well, but it may work. But for a graphite paper, if you do crafts or anything of any kind, you get this at um, Amazon and I can put a link in the comments below. Um, I'm an affiliate program with them and you just click on the link and it takes you there and I get a little percentage back and they, you know, they get the sale and then you get a quick, easy link to, to go buy your graphite paper. But this is the best graphite paper on the planet because it transfers. I've bought, wasted so much money on graphite paper where when you go to transfer your drawing on your canvas, you go and you trace it and then you pick it up and it's like you can't even see it and it's, it's gone. So what I use that for is uh, a lot of times before painting parties, and you guys can use this too. Like if you're gonna transfer something, if you wanna trace it out, say, you know, you got a picture of something, you wanna trace it out. What I do is I take wax paper, this wax paper, this right here, just wax paper, and I tear off a piece that's the size of my canvas and I've painted this on here already. And I just take the graphite paper over top, of, or the graphite paper, the wax paper over top of it. And I take a Sharpie and then I draw, draw the shape, draw and I trace around my shape, okay? And you can do this with something that you've painted that you wanna paint again for somebody. Uh, just don't dip it in the red paint like I just did right there. Um, if you painted something and you thought, oh, I love that, and you know somebody wants it and you wanna paint another one, but you don't wanna recreate the wheel, trace it, trace it, trace it. Um, and then you can transfer it onto your canvas by taking your uh, JH Best Graphite paper, put it face down on top of your canvas. Of course, pretend like this is a blank canvas and it doesn't have something painted on it. And then you take your graphite paper, you put your, your wax paper over top of it that you drew your image on, and then you draw the shape, draw it, draw it, just trace around all of that. It transfers that drawing onto your canvas, and then you paint it. So isn't that cool? That's like, so. it makes my life so much easier. And because that's how I do, like I have like, um, well, I used to have 20 people in here at a time, but when I have the painting parties and I have to transfer all those images onto all those canvases, that's how I do it. So you can do that if you've painted a painting that you want to do another one, or if there's a picture of somebody and you want to, you know, paint them on a canvas, you can do that. I mean, you can project it on or you can freehand it. But if you don't want to do it that way, um, this is just a really, really cool and easy way uh, to do that. So I thought I'd tell you that little tidbit. So that's cool. And, and I just recorded this today, guys. Ta -da -ta -da. This, is, this painting right here is on the schedule now for, I think it's on for February. Yeah, it's on the schedule for February. So if you guys are interested in painting this one, it's on the schedule for February. And uh, it's uh, also gonna be on uh, the online tutorials. So there. So if you want to do those, either one of those, that's, there's that. Okay. So I've told you about the graphite paper and the soap. So I had something else. Um, oh, the paint that I use, I use the uh, Liquitex Basics paint. 
Um, so I wanted to tell you all, if, you, you know, if you're wondering about paints and what kind of paints to get, I use the Liquitex Basics, um, is what I use, have been using here for the online tutorials. In the art studio, we use the paint and the pump because it's less expensive and I, I can't afford Liquitex Basics in, in here in the art studio for painting parties. <laughs> Wish I could, it would, make, it would be a time saver. Um, but the Liquitex Basics uh, is what I use for the, um, canvases. You can get that um, Dick Flick, Jerry's Artorama, uh, Walmart, or not Walmart, uh, Michael's, and those places. So that's the Liquitex Basics. You can use, um, if you're just learning to paint and you just, you don't want to spend a lot of money on paint. Of course, these are like four, this is like four something a thing, um, uh, tube for four ounces, it's about four something. Um, you can use these little um, craft paints. You can use those if that's all you have, you can use those. But whenever I'm painting along on these videos and you guys, you know, want to paint along with me and I, you know, I say use red, blue, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, you can use these types of paints if that's what you have. And you don't have to use the exact color that I have, just something similar. Um, and then the, uh, like I said, the Lexwitex Basics is what I use uh, when I'm doing the video and I talk about it. And then in the videos that I do that you would purchase, um, I have a supplies list in there that will give you all the links and it takes you right to where you can, you can buy those paints and brushes and all that stuff. So, um, but there's that. So just a couple of little things. Um, cleaning your brushes is very important. Uh, to clean them really good when you're done with them. If you take care of your brushes, um, they will last a lot longer. Uh, so I hope that's helpful to you guys. I appreciate everybody coming on here today. Um, we had a couple really uh, fun painting parties over the weekend. We had the kids in here and painted the heart bear on uh, Friday. Was that Friday? Yeah, we had the heart bear. We painted it on Friday. Um, it was really pretty. I don't know if y'all saw that. Uh, really cute. Um, I don't know if you saw the pictures of that one or not. We did that one. And then yesterday morning, we painted the winter barn. And yesterday evening, we painted the cardinal. So I had the cardinal up here a while ago and I moved it. But one, uh, one thing was really cute. I want to show you all this. A, a girl came in uh, yesterday and this is really cute where we've been painting a bunch of gnomes. One of the girls came in yesterday and she gave me this, Regina. Uh, she made it and gave it to me. Isn't he so cute? So where we've been painting the gnomes. He is adorable. I think he's cute. Don't you all think so? Um, but she made it and it's made out of a, a, I don't know, it's a jar or some sort. She said it was a coffee. She makes some of them out of coffee cans, but this is like a, it feels like a pickle jar or something. And then, uh, you know, he has the fur and the nose and then, of course, the, the toboggan on. But he could be my mascot because I've been painting an awful lot of gnomes. So, he's cute, isn't he? He's a cutie. So, there's that. All right. Well, anyhow, um, that's what I wanted to tell you all today. Um, I had uh, just some little some little tips. Maybe I'll get on here and do some little tips every now and then so you guys uh, can have some uh, little tips and tricks to painting because some of it you learn it, you just learn as you go. <laughs> That's how I did. Maybe you guys can learn, uh, learn from me, learn from my mistakes. So um, y'all have a good day. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, if you're interested in any of the links for the, the products that I've uh, posted, let me know and I'll put them in, in, in the link below. Just put on there, you know, if you want uh, the link for my soap, uh, I've got it, I purchased it from, uh, you can purchase it from Amazon, but you can buy it from Walmart. But I do have an Amazon link for that. Uh, the graphite paper, if you want the link for it, just put graphite paper and I'll, I'll uh, shoot you the link for it uh, and um, that'll be helpful I think so y'all have a great day I appreciate you guys take care and be careful out there if you're uh, around here locally because it uh, looks like a snow's coming down be careful on those roads thank you bye bye